Well, that takes care of that. I'd better go check on how Wowser's doing with the housework. What? I can't believe it. He hasn't started doing the laundry yet. This living room looks like a garbage dump. And he hasn't touched the dishes. I'm not going to stand for this, Wowser. Get in here. I think I'll have the prime rib medium rare and two porterhouse steaks with a side of ice cream. Get out! Yo, what was that? Are we having an earthquake? Oh, hi, Professor. What are you doing here? What am I doing here? All you seem to have been doing is sleeping. You haven't even started your chores. I suppose you mean the laundry? And the dishes and the cleaning. And where's our lunch? I made lunch and ate it already. Mighty tasty. So just where precisely is my lunch? Well, I must ate yours, too. <laughs> Wowzer, that was the last straw. I want you to know you can't get away with this anymore. I didn't do anything. That's right, you didn't do anything. And since you don't earn your keep, I'm kicking you out of my house. Okay, Professor, this is your last chance to beg me to stay or I'll be gone forever. Maybe this will teach you a lesson, you lazy mutt. Well, <laughs> goodbye, Wowzer. Mm. <laughs> well, how do you like that? After all I do, he throws me out. Hmm. Hmm? I guess the professor got tired of Wowzer after all. But who would have thought he'd kick him out? I'll show that good-for-nothing dog this invention will replace him and do everything I ask. Good morning, Professor. How are you? Hello, Beatrice. What brings you by so early? I heard from Ratzel that you kicked Wowzer out of the house. Is that really the truth? Yes, I felt it was time he learned that being lazy would only get him into trouble. I see. Well, in that case, you will probably need some extra help, and I would like to offer to be your full-time maid. That won't be necessary. I've built my own maid. Beatrice, I'd like you to meet my very own mechanical maid, Hazel. Isn't this wonderful? Could you imagine Wowzer ever serving us tea? So you really believe that this metal maid can replace a faithful friend like Wowzer? Can she test your inventions? No, but she won't raid the refrigerator either. But why put up with this machine when I could bring a human touch to your home? Well, I wouldn't want to inconvenience you, and Hazel is very efficient. Huh? Whoa, oh, oh, oh. You brainless bag of bolts! Oh, no, Beatrice, please calm down. Hazel, I command you to go back to your room and stay there. I hope you enjoyed your cake. What did she just say to me? Uh, I programmed her to be polite, but she must have a short circuit somewhere. <laughs> Wonder how Wowser's doing on his own. Maybe I should go and pay him a visit. This bench is hard as a rock, and I haven't eaten since yesterday, so I'm probably gonna starve. <laughs> Maybe some water will help. Hey, Wowser! I thought you could use a bag. You major cat, I ought to wring your neck. You'll be sorry. Uh -huh. Listen, you dummy, don't you want to know what Professor Dingy's been up to? The professor? Why, what's he up to? He's made a personal house cleaning robot to take your place. Replaced by a robot? The professor told me to do some light vacuuming. All done, professor. My word, you're already finished? That lazy mutt Wowser never vacuumed the floor, huh? He never vacuumed the walls either. Where the, what the, how did, why did, oh, he, I, it's been a long day and I think your power supply's run down. Run down. Why don't you go recharge yourself and then make me some lunch? Yes, professor. Replaced by a tin can named Hazel? It does everything the professor wants it to do and never complains. That robot doesn't even eat. How am I ever going to get to go back and live in the professor's home? Easy. All you got to do is kidnap the robot. But, Rachel, how would that help to get me back home? If you take the robot away, the professor will probably want you to come back because his robot will be gone and there'll still be a lot of work to do. Oh, I see what you mean. Without the robot, the professor will need me to work for him again. If I were you, I'd snatch her tonight. Yeah, you're right. Thanks a bunch for all your help, Ratso. My pleasure, Wowser. <laughs> <laughs> it looks absolutely delicious, Hazel. And I'm so hungry, I don't know what to start eating first. What? 
Hazel, when you make stew, please remember to slice the carrots. Enjoy your stew. And you've got to learn that you always peel onions before using them. Dessert? What the? And what's this doing in here? Well, I certainly hope the soup will be better than the stew. I think I'll have to reprogram your cooking circuit. Glad you enjoyed it. I'll do the dishes. Oh, well. Oh, no! That's enough of that. I want you to stop washing the dishes right now. It's laundry time. Wait, you're pouring in way too much soap. It'll cause an overflow of suds. Hazel, stop! Whoa! seen anything like this since Lawrence Welk. Stop the bubble machine! What a day. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I wonder where Wowser is. Hmm? Ratso, what are you doing up here? What is it? Professor, you won't believe what's happening downstairs. There's a burglar breaking in. A burglar? Are you serious? I've got to be very quiet. <laughs> Oh, where is that robot? Uh -huh. Once I move you out, I'll get to move back in, you macaconized tin can. <laughs> gotcha. That will teach you, you thieving scoundrel. Why, Wowzer, is that you? If you're glad to see me, you sure got a funny way of showing it. Did you imagine you could patch things up between us by breaking in here and stealing my robot? I'm no thief, Professor. I just wanted to come home. Well, uninvited guests aren't welcome. <laughs> you haven't seen the last of me, I promise you that. Out! And don't you ever come back here! <laughs> that was entertaining. Your lunch is ready, Professor. Hazel? I said I wanted it char-broiled, not char to a crisp. Enjoy your meal. Oh, well, it's back to the drawing board again. No steak, no ice cream, no cookies. I can't go on like this. Oh. Gee, Wowza doesn't look so good. Oh, boy, am I glad to see you two. We've just heard the news from B that you've been kicked out of the professor's house. Is it true? It's true. I've been out in the streets for two days with no comfy bed and no peanut butter, and I really miss the professor. Oh, that's just terrible. You don't know where I could get something to eat, do you? Listen, why don't you come to my house for a nice home-cooked meal, Wowzer? Really? You have me over for a big meal? Okay, let's go and eat. Yum. <laughs> This is quite a spread, Linda. Eat all you want, Wowzer. Well, there he is. I was wondering what had become of you, Wowzer. BT, got any idea how we can patch things up between Wowzer and the professor? I'll tell you this. The problem that's causing the feud is Wowzer's laziness. Well, Wowzer says he promises to try to do better. All he needs is another chance. We need a plan. A way to bring those two back together again. I agree. You're absolutely right, B. Yeah, well, I don't. Oh, that was delicious. Thanks, Linda. I'm gonna go walk for a while. Well, that ought to hold me for a spell. Bad news, Wowser. Huh? The professor's telling the police you broke into his place and they're gonna throw you in the slammer. What a stool pigeon. Uh, that's the last straw. This town ain't big enough for both of us. But he said if you were willing to meet him in the park and apologize, he wouldn't turn you in. What, me apologize? Not a chance. That's what I just heard. I'm not in the mood for guessing games, Ratso. Wowser said if you don't meet him in the park right now, he's gonna destroy your entire laboratory piece by piece. He what? The nerve! How dare he threaten me! Oh, this calls for a showdown! Funny, that's just what he said. I'll put an end to this once and for all. Charge! Oh, get him, Professor! <laughs> this I gotta see. Great, I'll have a bird's eye view from here. This is it, Wowzer. It's about time we had it out once and for all. I'm through Gavin, Prof. Go ahead and make the first move. Wow, 
Bowser, are you all right? Now I know what a barbecue chicken feels like. Huh? Uh, oh. <laughs> I must admit I've missed you. Professor, let's go home. Mm-hmm. <laughs> By all means. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Looks like my plans went up in smoke. Phooey. Lovely. Just lovely. Mm-hmm. This bunch of tulips is a perfect subject for my drawing. Fatso, come back here, you feline freak. Hiya, Professor. Hmm? <laughs> You've done it again, you meddlesome mutt. Now get out of my sight. Uh -oh. <laughs> this never would have happened if it weren't for Ratso. He's the one to blame, not me. Did he trample my tulips? No, you did. I've been sketching them for weeks in preparation for the citywide art contest. I haven't a chance of winning that contest if I've no tulips to draw. Gee, I guess I did kind of flatten them, didn't I? I'll get you something to draw. Leave it to me. He'll probably bring me one of his old bones. Oh, I did so want to draw those tulips. What a shame. I suppose I'll have to draw something else. Oh, no! Hmm? This will do the trick. <laughs> <laughs> What? I find you some tulips to draw. Walzer, the next time you want to give the professor flowers, take them from uh, someone else's yard. Those tulips are the prettiest flowers in my whole garden. I'll be happy to replant them as soon as I've drawn them. Uh, that is... Oh, well. I'll find something to draw. Oh, professor, this is so exciting. I've never been a model before. You're doing just fine, Linda. Now hold that pose. You see, Linda, I'm attempting to capture your subtle combination of worldliness and youthful innocence, as Da Vinci did with Mona Lisa. Oh! <laughs> but she wasn't a blonde. No matter. Now please have a seat, Linda. Okay. Whatever you say, Professor. Oh, dear. Hmm. Linda, pretend that you're angry. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Couldn't I move a little if I stay in the same position too long? My neck starts to hurt. You mustn't change your position now. That will ruin everything. <laughs> Professor, it's been almost an hour now. The artistic process takes time, Linda. You must learn to have patience. Huh? Come in. Hello, Bee. Wells, you told me all about that art contest you're entering, so I thought that the least that I could do would be to come over here and model for you. You're sure to create a masterpiece with a model like me. Terrific! I was getting awful mm -hmm. tired of being a model. Thanks a lot, Bee. That bathrobe will never do. True, but I have a formal gown on underneath. Mm, well, I uh, don't know what to say. That's really quite generous of you, but I... Uh, I... You look great, Bee. See you later. Hmm? Linda, come back. I'm ready to start any time you are, Professor. Oh, well, let's see now. Hmm. The professor's paintings are too realistic to win any prizes. What's hot right now is abstract art. Hmm? You mean there's different kinds of art? Wow. Get a load of this. <laughs> so that's abstract art? Does it look like a person or anything else? Uh, uh, uh. Mm-hmm. That's what abstract art's all about. There's so much energy and movement in a painting like this that everyone sees something different. That's what makes it so exciting. So, it's energy and movement they want, huh? Well, I just got a great idea. And some red. And a little green. That's my idea. Only this part, right? So I'm going to make my painting in a completely different way. Just watch and I'll show you. Uh-oh. <laughs> you sure you know what you're doing? Keep watching. Whoa. Ready? Aim. Now that's what I call abstract art. I got to admit it's powerful, but you stole my idea. Hey, I thought of the cannon. This could cause a real explosion in the art world. <laughs> explosion! <laughs> My explosive idea backfired. 
I'm sure you're wondering why I've called you here, Wowser. Rapso tells me you have natural artistic ability that should be developed. And I feel a duty to make certain you fulfill your artistic potential. Yeah, but what if I don't want to be an artist? When one has a gift, one must use huh? it, Wowser. The first thing you'll paint is that plate of fruit and attempt to capture its essence on canvas, understand? Uh, uh, uh. I want a painting of that plate by this afternoon. I wonder what's so important about painting a plate. I'll give it a bash. It smells great. Mm. Well, Wowser, is it done yet? I should have expected something like this. Hmm. This is a fascinating concept. The plate. He says he wants a painting of the plate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you could capture my beauty on canvas, I'm sure you'll win first prize, Professor. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't wait. I simply must see it. There, it's finally completed. Ah, that's supposed to be me. Beatrice, remember beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I'm more interested in portraying the essence of my subject than a mere physical resemblance. Essence, huh? If you were to win that prize, my portrait should look more like this. But I have chosen to paint the real you. What? Well, of all the nerve. All I see on that canvas is a portrait of a jigsaw puzzle. And if that's art, then I'm Florence Nightingale. Well, how do you like that? Now, both of my models have walked out on me. But I refuse to let that stop me. The problem is, it's not original. It looks too much like Picasso's work. I must think of something new. I will create an art form so unique that it will stand the art world on its ear. I'll call it functional art. These go here. Mm -hmm. And the best part is it's all made out of recyclable materials. Uh -huh. There we are. Looks like everything's in working order. <laughs> Why, yes, I think that will do quite nicely. Move over, Picasso, and make room for Dingy's functional art. What's going on, Professor? What you got under that sheet? Yeah, what is it? My latest work. My portrait! You finished it! <coughs> you are about to see the newest innovation in the realm of the visual arts. I hope he's got my cheekbones right. <laughs> Goodness, that's not me, is it? But it just looks like a regular painting. I assure you, it's quite different from anything you've ever seen. Just let me wind this up. Wow! A motorized mural! Wow! If you want to see how it works, just step around and back. Oh! Empty! <laughs> There's an old soup can I threw away yesterday. I suppose we could call it garbage art. <laughs> wow! It's a brilliant concept. Hmm? Why, thank you, Ratso. It's simple. Wind it up and it comes to life again. The professor is so noisy! It's part of the effect. It's unique. It combines realism with the energy and movement of abstract art. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed, Ratso. That's a very good way of putting it. If you wind it up anymore, you're gonna break it, Ratso. Huh? Junk. A junk pile by any other name is still a junk pile. <laughs> Never fear, it's only a minor setback. Beatrice, in order to reconstruct my creation, you'll have to pose for me again. Sorry, I can't house cleaning it all. Mm -hmm. Linda, do you Sorry, think you Sorry, I gotta go shopping. See ya. Mm -hmm. Back to the old drawing board. Hmm. I still think you have the potential to create great... Thank art. you. You're the only one who seems to understand what it means to be an artist. <laughs> Don't worry, Professor. I got a great idea. Don't move a muscle. Paint no plate's a lot easier. It doesn't keep moving around. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <coughs> Being part of a great work of art has me on the edge of my seat. So, 
Oh, you're on the edge of your seat, huh? <laughs> you asked for it. I'm gonna make you a real part of this painting. What kind of a painting is this? It's got the professor's touch. You'll see. <laughs> Make way for Wowser in his artwork. Make way. Very symbolic. It's the pain of mankind. Mm. 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 Congratulations, Wowser. The critics love it. Thank you. It's a pleasure to see how much a novice art student can learn from an expert teacher like me. The secret to creating this sauce, Kathy, is to cook it at a very low temperature, then serve it before it cools. Well, it looks positively delicious. Could you demonstrate? Certainly, Kathy. Now, first, you take a small... Just look at you, Wowza. You're becoming a couch potato. In this mess, you're not living in a garbage can, you know. I plan to clean it up. I can't do it now because I'm watching this terrific show. And I suppose you've forgotten you are going to mow the lawn today? Oh, me? How about if you do it yourself? I'm kind of tied up. Wow, look at that scrumptious hamburger. My dog's hooked on television. Now, what can I do about this? Aha, if Wowser realized he could be replaced, then he'd snap out of it. Now then, this should do the trick. I'll just put this face cover on and I'll be done. Another dingy masterpiece. Hey, where'd this ugly old thing come from? It seems to me I've seen that face before. You see it every morning in the mirror. I call this invention the Wowser 2. It looks exactly like you, but fortunately, it's much more efficient. What do you mean by that? Wowser 2 is dedicated to working hard and completing his assigned tasks and has absolutely no desire to watch television. I can't believe you want to replace me with this motorized furball. What's so special about this silly mutt? I was hoping you'd ask that question. I'll give you a small demonstration. Wowser 2, tea, please. His response mechanisms are perfectly tuned. Yeah, well, I'm sure it's just temporary because everything you make either breaks down real fast or doesn't work the way it was supposed to when you built it. You're wrong, Wowser, and to prove it, I'll give you another demonstration. This robot can do anything you can do. With this remote control box, the Wowser 2 unit is completely programmable. And he doesn't talk back. He's definitely the dog of the future. <laughs> wrong. I guess you're much smarter than I've been willing to admit. Since this new robot's so good, I must be free to do whatever I want with my time, right? Wait just a moment. Where are you going? Haven't you forgotten something? Is it dinner time? Not for you. Not until you get upstairs and clean your room. What's the matter with him? He never works if he can find some way to get out of it. Hi, pal. Huh? He completely ignored me. There must be something wrong. Maybe his brain got sunburned. Wowzer, hey, Wowzer. Mm -hmm. He's in worse shape than I thought. That always gets him going. Cutting it a little close there, aren't you, buddy? I think Wells is kind of distracted today. I'll bother him later when he's through mangling the grass. See ya! <laughs> My robot's working out so well, pretty soon he'll be doing all the chores around here. So you'd better make certain your room is cleaned up every day. Otherwise, you might have to get yourself a job to justify all the food you eat. What's going on out there? It's gone crazy! Oh, no! The remote's broken. It's out of control. I knew it. Oh, it's headed right this way, Professor. Can't you do anything? Push the button. I've tried, but it doesn't work. We're about to get run over. <laughs> How strange. It was working fine. I can't imagine what could have gone wrong. Almost anything since you built it. Everything seems to be working normally. Aha, the Millennium cable leading to its functional memory core is broken. 
I'll be back in a bit. I have to go into town to get some new parts. Oh, great. I'll see you later. Hmm. Well, how about that, Mr. Robot? Too bad you're broken. And no matter how much you look like me, you're just a pile of nuts and bolts in a handsome package. Wowzer, don't forget to clean up the other rooms in the house before I get back. This place is getting more like the army every time I turn around. I think what I really need to do is take a nice long nap. Aha! Uh -huh. No wonder he seemed out of it. That robot could really come in handy if I could make it work. I see old Dog Breath's enjoying his favorite pastime. You can hear him sleeping a mile away. Hey, this thing must be the robot's remote control. Looks simple enough. Only six buttons, no problem at all. Eureka, now we're cruising. My, how considerate of you, Wowser. Let me make sure I understand. You come here to help me around my house and you don't want any money? You got it, he's volunteering, right? Shake your head. Well, I'm very impressed. Now let's see, what kind of little jobs can you do around here? Good luck, Wowser, have fun. I have to be going, but I'm sure he'll be a big help to you. So long. Bye, come on in, Wowser, and let's get you started. The most important thing, of course, is the laundry. It's gotten kind of backlog. This is so nice of you. Here you go. <laughs> well, my favorite soap opera comes on right about now, so if you'll excuse me. <laughs> ha, he's doing a good job so far, and he'll do even better if I get him to speed it up. How sad. Trish should never have married that good-for-nothing Wally. Now he has an incurable disease. <laughs> Are you done already? My goodness sakes, you're so fast. Ooh. What's the matter with you, Wowser? Leave those alone. Ooh. Those curtains don't need washing. That frog's expensive. You want it. Don't wash it. Ah. Ooh, help me, somebody. Stop this maniac. He's washing everything inside. Wrong button. Really? Wowser would do absolutely anything to help me? That's right, Linda. Shake your head. What a wonderful dog you are. Well, would you mind going shopping for me? Mm, I'm gonna need some bread and oranges for breakfast tomorrow. Could you pick them up? Hiya, Wowza. Nice to see you. What do you need today? Hey, Wowza, wait just a minute. There's something wrong with this remote control. Done shopping already? Come back here. Wowza, hear me. Howdy, Wowza. What can I do for you today? Don't you want a bag for that? Hey, where's my money? That was fast. Did you get everything? Ah! Wowzer, have you gone completely mad? You could have hurt me. Get out of here. I must be doing something wrong. Uh -huh. I'm coming. Who is it? Hi, Linda. Hi, Beatrice. Uh, is something wrong? Why are you both looking at me with such angry faces? Well, don't play innocent with me, young man. You've got some nerve saying that after what you did to my house. Where's Professor Diggy? Oh, uh, well, he went out. Very well. I'll come back and see him later. But someone's going to have to pay to clean up my house. You're not going to get off that easy. Huh? I have no idea what's making you so irate. Am I still asleep? No. But you're gonna wish you were when I finish with you. No. <laughs> Right, I'll be back later. I was just sleeping here. Ah, the robot's gone. Rats are behind this, I'll bet anything. Huh? I knew it, just as I suspected. Well, he's not gonna get away with this one. Hmm, I wonder where Wows is hiding. I'm right here, Rats. You've been playing with the robot, haven't you? When the professor finds out, you're really gonna get it. Listen, I was only doing it to improve your reputation. Things didn't work out quite the way I thought. <laughs> Bye, I'll see you later. Oh, yeah, you'll see me right now. Hey, you get up. Engage all homing systems. Do you see that miserable mischief maker on the windowsill? Well, go get him. Hold on, wait for me. I hate that cat. 
What happened to the control box? Ah, I smashed it! It's gonna take more than a bandage to fix this. <laughs> hey, can we talk about this? <laughs> Help! Help somebody back up! <laughs> ah! uh, leave me alone, Blasted! Don't go in the gut! I am innocent! I'm innocent! <laughs> So Whistle, have you seen rats all around? What happened to these cars? Was there an accident of some kind? Oh, no, don't tell me I'm responsible. You are! I don't suppose you want to hear about the robot, do you? Well, I'll see you around. Hey, hey, come come back. Back. <laughs> Good heavens, wasn't that the Wowser 2 unit? Uh, oh, oh, it wasn't my fault. Ratto did it. Oh, where can I hide? What's going on here? When we get home, could you step on it, please? I think this is the right time for an explanation. It all began when I lay down to take a little nap. I'm a victim of circumstance. Somebody get me a lawyer and plot this maniac. The faster, you've almost got him. That's it. That's all right, so you're in trouble now. Hiya, man. Be careful now, or you'll damage Bowser, too. <laughs> Only if you promise to start doing your chores every day. I promise! <laughs> 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 It's quite a project. My, perhaps they're building an apartment house. That first step's a real logo. Hmm? Huh? That smells like soup bones. There are bones somewhere. I think you're mistaken, Wowzer. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. I knew there was a bone down here. Uh, you'll never get it by yourself. Uh -huh. Wow, this is a big one. That must have been some cow. A real champion. Boy, this looks good. Uh -huh. Oh! This bone is petrified, and from its size, it came from a pretty big creature. Oh. Whoa, big and tough. That bone must be from an elephant. Much bigger than that, it must be from a... Hmm? The, the only thing that they would, would be a dinosaur. dinosaur. What? Those guys found a dinosaur bone? Huh? Wow, this is fantastic. I've never seen anything like it. Over here. Hey, you guys, get over here as quick as you can. We just uncovered a dinosaur. That's it. Turn this way, please. Just one more. Good. Can we get the correct spelling of that name? Is it Wowser with a W or uh, Bowser with a B? Yesterday, an ancient dinosaur bone was unearthed at a downtown construction site. The bone was discovered by Wowser, a dog belonging to Professor Dingy. <laughs> Whatever I am today, I owe it to my nose. Experts have been examining the bone. They say it comes from the leg of an unknown species of dinosaur, which, pending further study, is being referred to as a Wowsersaurus. Good morning, everyone. The new story which has captured the imagination of the town involves a discovery of a dinosaur bone by a dog. We asked the mayor for his reaction to this important event. Thank you. Let me just say how proud I am of this wonderful dog. He's to be commended. With a sniff of his nose, he's brought us worldwide attention. I'm told the remaining bones of the Wowsersaurus are probably buried nearby, and with a little luck, I hope we'll be able to find them soon. Wowser, your discovery is going to make you famous.
Just call me the tracer of missing bones. You know, I have an idea. I think we should find the rest of those bones ourselves. Mm-hmm. I quite agree. <laughs> oh, I think someone ran over my nose. That must hurt a lot, huh? Here, let me just put this bandage on it. That's very nice of you, thanks. I can't wait to see his face when I stick this mustard plaster on his schnozola. My pleasure. I hear your nose is pretty valuable. That's right. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> <laughs> My nose is broken. Forget about the dinosaur bones. We'll never be able to find them. Never fear, my boy. Huh? My latest invention, the portable dinghy bonometer, will serve as a substitute for your excellent nose. So let's go. Professor, are you sure this bone detector works? Of course it does. I built it, didn't I? Ah, see that? This must be it. We have to dig right around here. Hmm. <laughs> See, it works. I just hit something real hard. Huh? The bonometer found a refrigerator. This is highly unusual. Perhaps there's something inside. Mm hmm Ready? It's, it's a, a bone. bone. Uh, well, it's an old bone. Yes, but not quite old enough. That overgrown lizard's got to be around here somewhere, Professor. This must be the place. Huh? Oh, boy. I don't suppose dinosaurs had umbrellas, did they? Huh. Here we go. Oh. How disappointing. This is not what we want. This thing's picking up skeletons, not bones. You're right. It's out of tune. It needs an adjustment. <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Bob! Where are you? Lunch is ready. Bob? <gasps> hey, Bob! What's the deal? Why are you digging these big old holes in the yard? I hear it on TV. If you find more of those wild Saurus bones, you'd be famous. You can be famous later. Come to lunch. No, no, let go of me. I don't want to have lunch. I want to have lunch. When I find those bones, I'm going to sell them for a million dollars, maybe two million. If a dog could find those bones, I know I can. Whoa. I found something. Huh? Yeah, I think it's the rib bones from a Wowzasaurus. Huh? It's a false alarm. It's only a hose. This is an unexpected development. We might have a real problem when the bonometer locates the rest of that dinosaur. What do you think? Wowza? With my nose in this machine, I'm off to find my dinosaur. Get it? Then nobody's gonna stop me. You know, bet you I can find it before he does. Watch this! Hey, you're a real pal to help me with this heavy equipment. I thought I'd have to carry it all myself. Wow. What a perfect plan. This way, if he does find those bones, I'll be able to cash in on it and leave him holding the bag. I'm not getting any reading from the bonometer. How's your nose doing, Wowzer? Huh? Smells like bones here. Big ones. The bonometer seems to agree with you, buddy. There's bones under these rocks. I know there is. <clears throat> Let me give you a hand there. Wow. We'll have to go back in there, okay? Uh-huh. After you.
Wait, Wait a, a minute. minute. This, this looks, looks like... It is! <laughs> Will you look at this? Huh? This is amazing, Wowser! Hey, I'm gonna be rich, Ratso. I just found the rest of my Wowser Taurus. It's right under there. Why should I believe you when you haven't got one shred of evidence to back up this preposterous story? Wowser's starting to see dinosaur bones under every rock. He's turned into quite a bonehead. <laughs> if it hadn't been for my nose, you would have never found it in the first place. What? My nose was the one that sniffed it out. You just brought the equipment. You're a liar. I was the one oh, who found yeah. it. What, what do you mean by that? that? Since there were no witnesses to the discovery, I suppose we'll never know who's telling the truth. I know the truth! I said first! You see what I mean? Huh? Hey, Professor, they're showing a 3D movie. What is 3D? Oh, 3D. That means three-dimensional. You wear special glasses and things seem to jump out at you from the movie screen. Wow, what a concept. I can just imagine what that must be like. <laughs> Isn't it about time to go inside? Mm-mm. Mm. I'm going to see 3D. I have better things to do with my... <clears throat> Indulge me this once. I promise I'll clean my room and cut the grass every Saturday. Well, all right, if you feel that strongly about it. But I think this foolishness is a waste of time. of all time. Huh? And he said he thought this would be a waste of time. Let's see. All I have to do is yes. <laughs> You're a little noisy. What are you doing down here in the middle of the night, Professor? Wowzer, please, do not interrupt me when I'm working. I was just about finished when you broke my train of thought. Now turn off that light and good night. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> Gosh, I just wanted to find out what he was doing. And I think what he's doing is losing his marbles. <laughs> since last night, and I'm itching with curiosity to find out what in the world he's working on. Wowzer! Wowzer! He's yelling again. I'm coming, Professor. Hey, what's that, Gizmo? 
My new 3D uh. video system for making three-dimensional home movies with authentic realism. Mm. With this camera, I can shoot oh. my own 3D videos and we will be able to play them back on our VCR. That means we'll have three-dimensional movies better than the movies. Wow! Wowzer, do me a favor. Stand there. Act like an actor because we're about to do your first screen test. Huh? Mm. I don't feel like doing a test. I want to make the movie. Why, with my talent, I could be a big star like Lassie. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Puff, I've got myself into something. What do you think of this? Hmm? <laughs> well, sir, I demand that you take the work on this invention seriously. Very seriously. <laughs> now, just stand there and wave at me so I can center you in the frame and get you in focus. Hello? Hello? Give me Hello? a little enthusiasm. Hello? Come alive. Hello? Work with Hello? me. Hello? Oh, what does he want? I'm a pooped pooch. I'll give you a bone. Huh? Look at this. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a bone to pick with you. The actor is not supposed to run into the camera. Good morning. Hmm? Hey, Wowzer, what you doing? Can't talk. My mouth is permanently stuck to his camera. Oh. <laughs> Told you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> wow! I've never seen 3D before. How does it work? Well, Filmin Glockens and the Electroplates create a fritz. Watch. Wowzer's a movie star! Oh, my! He looks just like himself! <laughs> That's my schnoz. Gee whiz! I never knew a nose could be that big. Well, you see now, that's the beauty of 3D. Gosh, Professor, do you think we can all be in a 3D movie? Well, now, that's exactly what I had in mind. Hmm. Linda will play the lead. Oh, thank you. This is such an honor. What about me? Since Linda is playing the princess, you'll be Prince Bob. And what's my part? Hmm, you'll be playing a white bear named Fred who saves the prince and princess. What? A dog playing a bear? Now, this is a science fiction story that takes place many years from now on a distant planet known as Fruiter. The alien battle cruisers are preparing for a confrontation. Princess Linda of Fruiter has been kidnapped by the aliens. Prince Bob has boarded the cruiser to save his sister, Princess Linda. But the alien defense system has him trapped. All appears lost when suddenly, the champion of champions, the bravest there in the universe, arrives to save the day, the prince, and the princess. Fighter Fred for Fruiter. Fearless Fighter Fred for Fruiter. Now, Professor, I've been thinking very hard about this. The name Fred's out. And I'm a dog, and dogs play dogs. They never play bears. I'm Ooh. the director here, and you will do as I direct. A white mm -hmm. dog in space gets clobbered. Mm -hmm. A white bear in space is victorious. Mm -hmm. Now, would you rather I found another actor? A bear it is. Hmm. <laughs> Keep running, Wowser. I need more footage. In this scene, Fred of Frupiter runs quite a bit. <laughs> hey, what are you doing dressed like that? We're making a 3D movie, right? So please stay out of the picture. A 3D movie? Yeah. I want to be in it too. Can I, huh? Enough! Cut! Cut! Wait till you see this. I'll be back in a couple of seconds. Uh. See, didn't I tell you? Impressive, huh? I'm the Saturn Swordsman, the greatest fencer of all time. If you think Errol Flynn was hot, just watch this. <laughs> Professor, I'm the one who's finished making movies. 
Let's take a look. Roll it. I'm so excited. Me too. Hey, ow. Here come the UFOs. Wow, 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 wow. They're so close. See, with my 3D, you don't ever need those glasses. I'm a genius. What we do need is a policeman to direct all this traffic. <laughs> huh? Now, watch this. Oh, it looks so adorable. It isn't the size of the park. It's how terrific you are when you're in it. This is the best part. Through the floor. Yeah, I think Wowser's right. It really feels cold and wet. Huh? Boy, this is fantastic. You'll enjoy what's next. Hey, this is really great. Mm hmm. Wow, it's sort of like we're pretty spectacular. <laughs> Ouch, it's so realistic. I can almost feel the pain. Can you feel it, Ratso? Nah, you know, nothing ever hurts me. <laughs> now, here's the entrance of the aliens. Yeah. <laughs> it all seems so real. Huh? Ah. 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 Isn't that the most amazing thing you've ever seen? Oh. These bees are so real, it looks as though I could reach on. Uh, Professor, maybe those bees there are in the movie. <laughs> Sounds like some very big goings on in the professor's house. Hmm. But I suppose that whatever's going on is none of my beeswax. <laughs> for three days, not to mention the nights. And I'm exhausted of being so tired. What's the matter with me? I haven't been using my head. That's ought to put me out. Long snows are wrong. It's late, but maybe the professor is up. Hey, professor. Professor? Prof? Professor? Professor, are you still asleep? If he knew I couldn't sleep again tonight and tomorrow, he might just say, why didn't you wake me? Professor, wake up. I can't get to sleep, and I need your help. Come on, professor. Rise and shine. Rise and shine. Fire. Get up. <laughs> That's one of your neatest looks. <laughs> oh, well, if it can't be me sleeping, I'm glad it's you. Well, let's try this. Plan B. I once heard B say when you're wide awake, a cup of hot milk makes you sleep like a log. Yeah! Oh, 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 oh. All right, everybody, 
Three of us got down and do aerobics. <laughs> I guess I just have to face the fact that every dog has his sleepless day and night. Come on, Wowser, where's your get up and go? No, oh, it got up and went. I haven't slept for three days now. Oh, it's no wonder you can't keep your head up. That's the worst case of insomnia I've ever heard about. Professor, isn't there something you could do to help Wowser get some sleep? Well, I'll have to give this some thought. All we gotta do is hit him on the head with a hammer and knock him out for a couple of days. Huh? Oh, I'm too pooped to pop huh? in. Hey, I think I know the perfect way to make you sleepy. Now just close your eyes and listen carefully to what I say. Hmm, listening. Now you're lying in the pasture with a big fence around you and sheep are jumping over it. I see sheep. Now you start counting the sheep as they jump over the fence. One, two, three, four... By the way, whose sheep are these and why are they jumping around? You don't have to know whose they are or why they're doing what they're doing. Just relax. Instead of imagining sheep, why don't we have somebody here simply dress up as one? Hmm? No, no, I couldn't dress up as a sheep. Not me. Please, Professor? All right, you can count on me. Hurry up, Professor. We're all waiting. I'm almost ready. Uh, on second thought, I'm not certain I can do this. Professor, you come out here this minute and help Walter get some sleep. All right, but please promise that you won't laugh at me. <laughs> Stop counting. One professor in a sheep suit. Two professors in a sheep suit. Three professors in a sheep suit. Four professors in a sheep suit. Five professors in a sheep suit. Six professors in a sheep suit. 194 professors in a sheep suit. 2,046 professors in a sheep suit. Wowzer, I can't believe you're not sleeping yet. 426. I'm afraid you'll have to get yourself another sheep. <laughs> I've been thinking about Wowser's problem, and I have an idea. Now, everybody knows that when you feel full, the first thing you want to do is take a nap. So all I gotta do is eat all these donuts? Yes, and they're the best in the world. Wow, holy donuts, boy! <laughs> Can I get your recipe, B? Certainly. One more left. Let me more in the kitchen. <laughs> Just a sneeze. Oh. With this new invention of mine, you'll be able to sleep. Mm, I've heard that one. This is my new Porter Jogama jig. It creates certain electromagnetic impulses in the brain which induce sleep. I promise your insomnia will be a thing of the past. Mm, I really think this is going to work. Oh, I certainly hope so. Looks like I'll have to jog, and I don't like to jog. This is no time to be picky! Right. Oh, go on, Wowzer. Mm -hmm. Let's give it a try, shall we? Mm -hmm. What nobody seems to understand is that I'm already beyond exhausted. Making me more exhausted doesn't necessarily mean I'll sleep. If that mangy mutt thinks he's exhausted now, just wait till I speed this thing up. Does now. <laughs> 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 so, just what do you think you're doing? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> now I won't be able to sleep because I'll be reliving this. This insomnia has left poor Wowser in a sorry state indeed. Gracious me, the bags under his eyes are looking more like trunks. There's just gotta be a way to help him get some sleep. I have an idea that cannot fail. So, Ratso, why don't you tell us about it? It's this wild thing I saw on TV. What was it, Ratso? Just wait, you'll see. How about a lullaby, some pretty little ditty? Why, that's it. Why didn't I think of this before? I know the solution to this problem, and it will be a dreamy invention. What's a piss sleeve? I don't know. But whatever it is, I hope he pulls it out and shows it to us soon. We must never underestimate Professor Diggy, Linda. Oh, night number four and still no shut-eye. Hey, Wowser. Huh? 
You ready for me to work my magic? I'm gonna put you out like a light. No, I'm not. You only mess things up, like always. Is that any way to talk to me? Just let me try this method once, okay? And just what is this method? Listen, I'm gonna hypnotize you into a deep sleep. Huh, you really expect me to believe you know anything about hypnosis? Well, I didn't used to, but I'm an authority now that I read this whole book. Mm. Now watch the little donut. You're getting very sleepy. Very, very sleepy, Wowzer. Your eyelids are getting heavier and heavier. They're getting so heavy you can hardly keep them open. Now when I cast a spell on you, you're going to sleep for days and days and days. Weaky, weaky, hee! Good night! He's a goner. This isn't right. That was the wrong spell. Let me give you another one quick. Now, let's see. It's on page. Ah! Remedy for Wowzer. And what exactly is that? I call it the Dingy Sheepomatic Auto Sleeper. Through a process of cyclical redundancy, it's guaranteed to put anyone to sleep. Gee, Professor, what a wonderful idea. Hmm, well, I'll try anything at this point. I really hope this works. And that makes two of us. Ready, set, sleep. That's part of the process. Process, process. It's driving us all nuts. Oh. Why, look at that. He likes it. He's sleeping. Just like a baby. It's worked for Wowzer, all right, but this noise is giving me a terrible headache. I don't know about you, but i got to get out of here. Good night, everybody. Good night. Like it's back to the old drawing board. Don't bother talking to me, because I 